So my boyfriend and I have been working in the same apartment together for about seven months. As you can see, um, it gets a little cramped and we're starting to drive each other insane. I'm not, I'm not showing you. I'm not showing you. I promise. I'm, mustard on my face. I'm not, this is flipped around. We have this room, which is, you know, our sanctuary, but we do obviously need a barrier. So I thought maybe we could put a room within a room. I happened to come across this desk tent by a Japanese gaming furniture company. It's a semi-spacious, portable, private workspace that's a little over four feet square and about five feet tall. For eight hours a day, I can contain my mess inside the cube, safely avoid certain people, and then stuff my office into a bag, preserving our work-life balance. So as you can see, it's somewhat um, technically portable, um, relatively small, so now it's time to set it up. I think it's the, I think the entrance is on the top. All right, so let's um, step inside my new office. You know, I do kind of wonder who this tent was intended for, like maybe gamer teens who just really need space from their parents. Um, it's the only kind of reasonable explanation at this point. If this helps you understand the scale, this, it's just, it's just enormous. Um, I'm gonna throw a roll of tape in there just so you can kind of see how big that's how big the tent is all right so now that we've got our tent it's time to um you know set up a little space in there so all we need are a couple of couch cushions a computer you just need a vape throw that in there it's, it's big it's really big I can't complain, I like this. So I've opened the sunroof. It kind of reminds me too much of the rest of the apartment and really the world, which I'm trying to escape here. I think I'm going to close the roof and try total darkness. Okay, so first impressions, as you can see, it's pretty dark inside the tent. This makes me feel that I should speak in a hushed tone. Um, it's a very quiet, meditative space. It's sort of how I would imagine a sensory deprivation tank inside your home. So I know you're all thinking, um, yes, tent, Whitney, great idea. When can I get one? Um, but there are a few drawbacks to home tents. First of all, uh, the pros, um, it's extremely thrilling to, um, you know, fling the tent out of the bag. It's kind of like regaining the childlike joy of maybe firing a confetti cannon um, inside your home. Unfortunately, um, my boyfriend um, happens to hate this and leaves the house for long walks for extended periods of time every time I do this. So um, it kind of detracts from the relationship preservation part of this experiment. Taking it down is a fucking nightmare. Um, I've done it maybe five times now and the longest took me two hours. Anyway, I can't figure out how to do it. So um, I just kind of like twist it repeatedly until it goes where it wants to go. It does feel very peaceful inside. Um, I remember why kids love forts, but I also realized why parents hate forts. Um, and this is because the tent creates chaos all around it. I seriously underestimated the domineering presence of this giant cube. Um, all the furniture shoved into the doorways is somewhat problematic. Hey Rich, what did you think of the tent? I hate it and I cannot wait to throw it away.